Coming up next, it's a Bantamweight title fight between Al Jermaine Sterling Sterling and T.J. Dillashaw. Well, he was a three-time NCAA qualifier as a Cal State Fullerton wrestler. He is a former two-time UFC Bantamweight champion. He is Tyler Jeffrey Dillashaw, and he is ready to add to his legacy here tonight. And for all those wrestling accomplishments, he doesn't even need to use it. He's become a great striker under Dwayne Ludwig, a guy that can beat you with kicks, a guy that can beat you with the boxing, and the footwork is something that we haven't seen in the UFC for a very long time. TJ Dillashaw is one of the greatest bantamweights of all time. And he is truly in his element on fight night, absolutely loves the bright lights and everything that fight night entails. Another big spot for Dillashaw here tonight. All right, here he is, the UFC Bantamweight Champion. He has successfully defended the title in the past. A decidedly different challenge, though, here tonight. Prevailing wisdom is that this will be his toughest title defense to date. The odds suggest that this is a close matchup on paper, but he believes he's one of the GOATs, one of the greatest of all time. If you want to be that, certainly got to make good on this title defense tonight. for this, our main event of the evening. Dillashaw is three years his senior. Sterling will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, presenting the challenger, TK Dillashaw. And now introducing the champion, fighting. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Uniondale, New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Al Jermaine Punk Master. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my good All right. This is a venue that has hosted a lot of major UFC events. I think we're the only ones not drinking in here, Chad. I mean, we want to join the party. The fans are going crazy. They're singing, they're cheering, they're screaming. This is a great fight environment. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this fan. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He 
is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Aljamain Sterling. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, effective use of the jab by Sterling. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He's in close, so he's never punch. He's landing, he's nasty, vicious elbow. Take down. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, Harvard wins fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Dillashaw. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hit the skate, DC. Round two next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, round two. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Look at the turn in that kick. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Able to check the high kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that he's right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Close him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. So we call on the fight stats here on officially 49 total strikes and counting have landed for the great TJ Dillashaw. And landing with 51% accuracy thus far against Aljamain Sterling. Got the single collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. Sterling gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Two minutes now to go. Dillashaw's kick block. Man, has he landed a high volume of 
strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. What a tricky head kick. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch lands. Liver kick. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Sterling's got the full mount. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Dillashaw's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious... He can advance position. Oh, nice! Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Dillashaw gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice leg kick lands. Single collar tie now. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Quick hit movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. 67 total strikes have now landed for TJ Dillashaw. And landing with four. Hey, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, that kick is good by Stoke. Oh! He's out! Wow! Wow! What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there is our UFC Bantamweight champion proving tonight that he can get it done with style points. A big knockout to leave with the belt tonight. So there it is. Don't look now, folks. We have a new UFC Bantamweight champion of the world, and this is going to be a night that he doesn't ever forget. He won the belt, surrounded by his great coaches, his family, his friends. Everybody will celebrate him in the effort that he put tonight to become the champion.